welcome to Spotlight. This is Pastor Dan, and thank you for doing this with us. We're looking at how we live the Christian life, and we just want to uh, kind of play back an old parable my uncle Maury Vinden used to use, and it just it just deserves to be heard again some more. It's the parable of the Mack truck. To make it really short, because we just have a few minutes. You're trying to uh, drive your Volkswagen Beetle 93 million miles to heaven. We've tried Las Vegas. That didn't work. That wasn't satisfying. That's not going to last. So we leave Las Vegas, and we're on this big highway to heaven. But somehow, it seems like most of the traffic is coming against us. And we're constantly trying to move between all the trucks and cars going down the broad road, you know, the story in the Bible. So finally decides to go over to the side of the road and just drive on the side, on the, on the shoulder. How are you going to make any time on the shoulder trying to get the 93 million miles to heaven when all of a sudden the Mack truck comes around the corner and the Mack truck just comes over and somehow just obliterates your Volkswagen Beetle. And while you're in there and you are you're finally come to and you're beat up and your car is smashed, And all of a sudden, there's someone in the window, all dressed in white. And he says, "Uh, you want me to drive? He said, do you know the way? Yeah. Yeah, I've been over this way. Sure, you drive. I'm not doing too bad. Move over. And Jesus gets in there. And somehow, he can fix up the car, and it's good enough to go. And somehow, when he is driving, everyone gets out of the way. And he knows how to pick his way. And pretty soon, here we are, 100 miles an hour. And the trucks and all the other cars are, 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 we're not hitting them. After a while, we sort of get the hang of it. We think we've got the idea. Okay, I think I can do it again. As soon as we ask to drive, he gives it right back to us. And of course, we end up back on the shoulder and another Mack truck and we get smashed. And Jesus comes again and says, you want me to drive? You get the idea. Much longer parable, that's a short version. And the parable says something really, really important. You can't expect parables to now answer everything and cover everything. And there were many who criticized it as to just sit here and doing nothing while Jesus does everything. Jesus expects us to go to church and read the Bible and to help little old ladies across the street. We're, we're the one doing things. But the story says something important. All we ask as the story is to say one important thing is that there is a letting go that needs to happen in the Christian life. It is not by me doing this. But you have to let go of control. Paul says, I die daily. I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. You let go. Come unto me, and I will give you rest. There's something letting go here where we have to say, I I don't want to do this by myself anymore. Look what happened when when I run things. So it doesn't mean that we do nothing. Yes, we're going to give Jesus everything we have. Everything goes into the pot. Yes, it does. But we begin this process of letting go, dying. There has to be a death to us running everything. And we say, Jesus, I will let you drive and keep driving. It doesn't say everything we need to learn. We're still going to have a few more spotlights. There is so much to talk about with living a Christian life. But can we start with this? That Jesus knows the way. He has been over the way before. He knows how to drive better than we do. He is the God of the universe. And you and I, he says, without me, you can do nothing. We have not done very well ourselves. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. Move over. Let go and let Jesus take over our life. He will fight the battle. We will talk about our role over the next uh, few times. But let's start with the famous song. Let it go. Let it go. And let Jesus be the one who drives your car. This is Spotlight. Come back next time. 
Thank you for watching Spotlight. We're so excited about this. We hope that you'll subscribe and so you'll get all of them. And please just forward it on to others and tell other people about it. And let's just see what kind of an audience we can get for these messages of Spotlight. God bless you.